Hey YouTubers, welcome back for part two of my warehouse setup video. So in this video I'm going to show a really cool tool that I love a lot. It's called M3 Data Import or MDI and basically it's your way to take data in an Excel type format and use an M3 API to load it into the system. So I've configured my spreadsheet beforehand, save you the boring part, now I'm going to connect. And you need to put your server and port information. And the API I'm going to use is MMS 200 MI, and the transaction is going to be copy item warehouse. So. This file is saved as a text tab delimited. When you do it as a text tab delimited, it will recognize it when you upload the, the file into MDI. Right now it says flat file. If I go in and I select it, it says, oh, tab separated. That's cool. And that's usually the first sign that everything's going well. Next, I'm going to use this auto assigned. And what it does is I formatted my spreadsheet in the same fields that are within this table. There's 162 fields in MIPAL, but I only care about these 11. So, what these are doing are they're zeroing out all the planning parameters for this warehouse because when I copy it from one warehouse to the other warehouse, I don't want it to bring over all those parameters. I want them to be zeroed out. So I'm going to map all my fields, do a quick count. There's 11 here. I just want it, the, the, the red ones mean that they are required fields and the black are optional. And once it mapped, the red turned kind of a dark burgundy and then the grays turned black and that means that it recognized and mapped all those. I'm going to save this configuration file. It just This is something it just always asks you to do. I never reuse them again, so I always recreate them. So I just resave over. I call it 1.IMP. And then I'm going to test the transaction, and then I'm going to execute the transaction. And those OKs mean that it's successfully copying one item over to the other warehouse. This is going to take a very long time because there's 300 different, excuse me, 300,000 different transactions. If I go back to M3, MMS002, Warehouse 41, you can already see that it's getting full, full of all kinds of different items. If you want to get an idea how long this is going to take, you could query the MITBAL table and find out, look at the number of records, and then wait a few minutes and then look at the number of records. So let's do that. I'm kind of curious how long it's going to take to put 300 items, 300,000 items in the system real quick. Did a quick SQL and I, I looked at how many um, records that are being updated per minute and I clocked it. I, I basically did a count function on the table and I timed it one minute apart and it looks like I'm putting in about 2150 item numbers a minute so at that rate the 320,000 items that I have will take about three hours uh, but 2100 items per minute is still pretty fast to be able to input into the system so that was how I were, was to check that I'm going to leave my computer alone for a few hours and do some other work Okay, so job has ran and looks like we have 814 failed transactions and 76 warnings. <clears throat> what we're going to do is this is this text here, I want to copy and paste it alongside my Excel sheet to find out which transactions failed. <clears throat> so I, I'm at the bottom of the list, I'm hitting Control Shift Home and it highlights it all. I'm doing a control C. <clears throat> Excuse me, just had lunch. Um, paste. And so 
these are all my good ones and then there's some bad ones <clears throat> so I'm going to do a I'm going to do a filter so it doesn't like the hash marks it interprets hash marks as double hash marks these are all failed in some sense what I want to do is <clears throat> not we're going to unclick the OK so we just want to look at the no no OK so so this is okay. This, these are giving me an error message that this item doesn't exist in the warehouse. Because I'm having this item distributed from this other warehouse, it probably doesn't exist in that warehouse and that's why it's failing. <clears throat> this is just a setting on the warehouse, basically an incorrect set setting. So those failed. Um, and This, this here, they're trying to see how it has quotes instead of the original. Um, it, it just doesn't like it. It's basically interpreting this as two sets of quotes, and it fails because of that, or received a warning anyways. Either way, though, um, 814 failed transactions, that's okay. These are all buy-to-order items for the most part, and they can be recreated manually. So that is MDI and also how to kind of troubleshoot your errors as well. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. Feel free to give me some suggestions on maybe a video you'd like to see.